Morning and welcome to today's products in focus. The US 30 there is kind of flatlining ever so slightly around about the 21 period SMA after showing some considerable volatility at the end there of last week. We are slap bang in the little two ranges, one at 16.738 and the other at 16.969. And uh, with non farm payrolls due this Thursday, uh, which is unusual because obviously it's July 4th weekend this Friday, um, there promises to be a little bit more. Our life in the markets towards the end of the week. If we have a look at the UK 100, it's slightly different from most other global markets, uh, having actually posted quite a decent candle there on the Friday. Uh, we are actually uh, blocked by this potential resistance at 6774. A break and close above that would get us above that 55 period SMA and, now, and allow us to potentially rechallenge at 6874. But we've not broken that level yet. To close bang on there and then not uh, punch through this morning. Uh, is a little bit surprising, but as you can see, the candles is changing from from green to red as we speak right now. And most global markets are just slowly edging up this morning, but not really showing any massive conviction. Um, if we have a look at um, uh, Japan 225, um, it's also been a little bit um, sluggish the last couple of sessions. Looks to be at 14.977 as a potential support. Uh, you can see it almost bounced off there on Friday and again there today. Um, not really much to report on there. Dollar yen though is still continuing to move a little bit lower. Um, we briefly touched below potential support at 101 spot 35 uh, this morning, uh, only to move back above that level throughout the session. Obviously, we've still got quite a while to go yet. Uh, 101, uh, sorry, 100 spot 80 is the next potential support. Creole West Texas continues to come off, um, uh, still in this range. This pattern here does uh, give some indication that there is a lot of pressure the further up we go here. Uh, we are towards the lows of the day already. Um, so this level here, at basically at 105, looks to be relatively strategic this morning, um, and a level for good all traders to be looking at. And these formations right here, from yesterday, the, uh, from Friday, sorry, and Thursday, uh, you can see the pressure certainly is on, as uh, ISIS aren't making too many more territorial gains, and the Iraqi military tries to retake the creep. Um, moving on to gold, which had been doing so well. Um, we are still bouncing around this um, kind of 13, 15 level um, with this symmetrical triangle trend line still intact as potential support. Still looking like we're in an ascending triangle formation. So we're looking for a break either lower or higher. And there does seem to be a little bit of dollar weakness out there. So um, gold could still be interesting to watch, but uh, it's not had its breakout as of yet. So looking at euro dollar, it's been moving in the right direction. Um, looking at uh, it's just trading slightly above one spot 3645 which is good uh, we do need to be getting above one spot uh, we do need to get a close a convincing close above there to rechallenge one spot 3709 uh, and we're just slowly peeking ahead above there right now we'll come back to the fundamentals in a second and cable uh, again quite volatile um, struggling to break at one spot 7048 uh, and as you can see this level has been in play for a number of sessions, sessions, and today will probably be no different. Um, so let's see if we can actually have a re-challenge of that. Uh, and if we get a break, that's fantastic. If we don't, then one spot 69.95 is the next level to have a look at. So fundamentals, what do we still have to go? Today we've got uh, PMI uh, at 245 in the US, and then we have to fast forward onto Tuesday, uh, where we've got uh, German PMI. Uh, German employment data, UK PMI, uh, Eurozone jobless rate, and uh, manufacturing PMI over in the US. So a fair amount of uh, fundamentals due tomorrow, uh, which all kind of growth focused stuff. So keep your eye on the major US indices, cable your dollar, dollar yen. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Keep your eye on the chart form as ever, and make sure you make insights part of your layout. Thank you.